Greetings, my scattered brothers and sisters in the Lord. I trust you know the Lord is with you wherever you find yourself scattered today, and that you know that his presence with you is more than enough for whatever you might face today. Our psalm, as we continue on in the songs of ascent, our psalm today is Psalm 123. Psalm 123. I lift up my eyes to you, to you who sit enthroned in heaven, as the eyes of slaves look to the hand of their master, as the eyes of a female slave look to the hand of her mistress. So our eyes look to the Lord our God till he shows us his mercy. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy on us, for we have endured no end of contempt. We have endured no end of the ridicule of the arrogant or contempt from the proud. So that's Psalm 123, and a pretty dominant metaphor there. Uh, I lift up my eyes to you, to you who sit enthroned in the heaven, as the eyes of slaves look to the hand of their master, as the eyes of a female slave look to the hand of her mistress. So our eyes look to the Lord our God till he shows us his mercy. Now, this is not validating uh, slavery. So kind of just set that aside. Uh, what this is doing is drawing an analogy. Uh, the, the owner of the slave, the mistress of the maidservant, they were responsible for the care and the well-being of those who were under them. And so if you have a master, so to speak, who's over a household, and there are slaves or servants within that household, it is the master's responsibility to care for those slaves, to care for those servants, to make sure that they are treated well, to make sure that they have everything that they need. Same thing in terms of a woman with her maidservant, that she is responsible for the care and the well-being of the maidservant who works for her, who serves her, who cares for her. And, and so here the psalmist is saying, as, as a slave looks to the master for provision, for care, for mercy, for sustenance, so, Lord, we look to you till you show us your mercy. And is recognizing that we belong completely to the Lord, that the Lord has us. And so we look to the Lord for mercy. We look to the Lord for what we need each day along the way. And I especially look at the end of this psalm. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy on us, for we have endured no end of contempt. We have endured no end of ridicule from the arrogant, of contempt from the proud. And I can just imagine people around them kind of mocking them and scoffing at them as they make a pilgrimage to Jerusalem. What, you're going on pilgrimage again? You're going to make that trip to Jerusalem to worship the Lord? What's the Lord done for you? Why bother with all the trouble of that journey? Has the Lord really blessed you and benefited you? And so in the midst of that contempt, that ridicule, that mocking, the psalmist is saying, Lord, we look to you that you are the one who cares for us. You're the one who provides for us. We're not looking anywhere else. Lord, our eyes are on you, so you show us your mercy and you continue to take care of us. I don't know where you're scattered today. I don't know who might be mocking you, ridiculing you, because you bother to serve the Lord. You bother to, quote unquote, go out of your way whether that's going to church, whether that's ha having daily devotions, whether that's praying before meals, uh, whatever that might be, but that you go out of your way to serve the Lord, showing kindness to others for the sake of Jesus, and you're ridiculed for it. Well, keep looking to the Lord. We belong to the Lord, and the Lord will indeed care for us. So God bless. Have a great day. And keep your eyes on the Lord, no matter how intense the ridicule. God bless.